Right. For our third one, we're back to an acid. It's hypobromous acid, HOBr, and this time I'm writing it with the H2O version for the acid reaction. Unlike the first one, I just used the H+. But, here we go. It donates a proton, H3O+, leaving behind OBr-, which is the A- part. The Ka is 2.1 times 10 to the minus 9, and we are told that the concentration of hydrobromous acid is 0 0.050. That's two significant digits. So, again, we can simply say that Ka is going to be equal to the concentration of the hydronium times the concentration of the conjugate base part, the A minus, all divided by the concentration of the undissociated acid, HOBr. Yeah, I know the concentration of this down here is 0 0.050. These two must be the same, so this is going to be x squared over 0 0.050. Two significant digits. So, exact same solving method. It turns out, after the algebra, that x equals the square root of Ka. times the concentration of the undissociated acid. And we find out that X is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 5. X is the concentration of the hydronium, which is the concentration of the acid that we care about. Remember, H3O plus and H plus are identical, just different ways of showing the same thing going on in the liquid. So, pH will equal the negative log of the concentration of that hydronium, which means it equals the negative log of 1 times 10 to the minus 5 which equals 5. But I need the right number of significant digits. Two digits, 5.00. Then pOH equals 14 minus pH, which equals 14 minus 5, 9.00. Two significant digits.